If you haven't filled out your 2020 census form yet, well, now you have an extra month. California District Judge Lucy Coe passed a preliminary injunction late Thursday night that extends the deadline to October 31st. Here's what Montana officials had to say about what that means for the Treasure State. It's a great court case uh, and the outcome is good. Um, and But again, we are still going to just plow forward, putting every bit of emphasis we can to getting into areas where we know we have uh, some uh, you know, we have additional challenges. Gathering census data was a unique challenge this year due to COVID-19. On August 3rd, the U.S. Census Bureau announced that self-response and field data collection efforts would end by September 30th. We're a little bit below the national average, uh, but we don't, and we don't want to be there. That's why it's going to be so important that we use every day till the very end in order to keep reaching out in those hard to count areas. Even with increased efforts and additional state money to promote the census, there were concerns that there wasn't enough time to count everyone before the deadline was extended. Everything that we had planned, I mean, a number of major events throughout the state. Uh, and when we're talking major events, we're talking about bringing people together and having big events. Well, with COVID, we couldn't do that anymore. I reached out to Mike Cooney's opponent in the upcoming gubernatorial election, Greg Gianforte, as well. Although he wasn't available for an interview today, his camp did send us this statement. With so much at stake for Montana, from getting our fair share of federal funding to more representation in Congress, Greg believes all Montanans must be counted fully and accurately, and thinks the census deadline should be October 31st. In Great Falls, Matt Holzaffel, MTN News.